Spawn. Hey everybody, Jesse here. We are in the IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge, the two hour solo endurance race with the GT4 and TCR uh, cars. Um, we are coming off a win last night at the Nuremberg Endurance Championship. We ran the race with Idaho Panhandle, uh, Brian. Uh, so we're looking to see if I can get another good finish here, see if we can cap the weekend off with another solid race. That's the goal anyway. I just want to thank anybody that was on for the stream last night. We were on for races four hours, and I was on for probably close to five total. Just want to thank everybody that stopped by to support Brian and I in our race win at the Nuremberg Ring. The Nuremberg Ring combined, so the full, almost full course. So, hoping for a good finish here. I do like this series a lot. Had some success and some wins here. So, hoping for another good race. Waiting to see if my buddy Travis joins. He said he was going to try to make the race session. The guy behind has just done it, 152.44. So I'm going to get out there and do some more practice. I don't have a lot of practice here this week. We did run this track a few weeks back in our Tuesday night GT4 league. So I'm hoping that experience will kind of translate a little bit. It's a fixed setup series, so a little bit different. All right, so we've got 136 people registered for the session so far. Looking at around like five splits, maybe four. So the race session is going to start in about 13 minutes. So we've got a little bit of practice time here. Your exit looks clear, stay behind the line. There's an incident in, real nerve. Hey Steve, uh, it's going well. Pretty relaxed Sunday so far, how about you? Just done a 150.83. Have you been able to get any racing in this weekend? Oh, you are? Nice. Hopefully we're in the same split, Travis. So Travis's high rating is a little bit higher than mine at the moment. I think we're two or three hundred points off. Uh, hoping to get in the same split with him. Uh, sounds like okay, been... Jesse, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. Sounds like you've been adulting, Steve. P11. Which I should be doing.
Yeah, after I finish up here, I've got some stuff I gotta do around the house and get one of the cars washed. Hey, Danny. Yeah, it's been a long time. I know you said you were going to be busy with work. And you might not have an opportunity to do much racing. And it'd be good to see you streaming again. Hope you've been good. Alright guys, Danny does um, a lot of oval stuff, NASCAR and uh, sprint cars when he's got the time. So a little bit dis different discipline than what I do. I still keep on talking about trying to get into ovals. Travis, are you going to be streaming your race? You've just done a 152.69. New fastest lap for Rissner, 150.79. I'm uh, running full fuel, so I hope the guys that are running in the 50s are running qualifying setups. If not, could be in the world of hurt. Did you get any of the practicing at the Nuremberg GP circuit for Tuesday? So, um, yep, that's terrible. Saw that Juice had put up a practice session. Track limits, keep it within the lines. Good to have the work, no doubt, but yeah, that's a that's a lot, man. Times are going to be fast, Travis. Why the fuck are you leaving? So we've got 170 people registered so far. Sector 2 is 0 0.48 off the pace.
really hoping Travis and I get the same split. That's your fastest lap today. You're currently 1.6 off the leader's pace. Sector 3 is 0.6 off the pace. Fastest lap for Rissner, 150.64. Yeah, I'm really hoping those fast guys are on qualifying setups. Two is 0.6 off the pace. So Danny, you'll be able to get back on our regular schedule for a while. Sounds like. That's your quickest so far. That puts you 1.6 off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.5 off the pace. Alright guys, we got about 3 minutes until the race session starts, so looks like I'll be able to get one more lap in here. Sector 1 is 0 0.44 off the pace. is 0.8 off the pace. So it sounds like you're more seasonal or you just don't have any additional projects coming up? seconds off the pace. Sector 3 is 0 0.49 off the pace. Alright, race session's about to start, guys. Got 192 registered, so it's probably going to be five splits, I think. Right? Five to six splits. Got it. Alright, race session is going to be starting. Fingers crossed we get in uh, session with Travis. 
his rating's a little bit higher, so I don't know. He could be in a split above me, possibly. Thank you, Danny. So I'm assuming uh, your position, though, sounds like you're probably going to be, sounds like you have a regular position there. It's not like you work every five years. Um, so it sounds like just during the big shutdown process of when you guys are doing work, that's when you got to pull the, the crazy shifts. All right, we're in with Travis. <clears throat> All right, we've got Greg. I've raced with Greg before. I don't recognize anybody else, just Greg and Travis. And we've got field split pretty much 50-50 with TCRs and GT4s. There's a few more T GT4s. This should be fun. I know, that's, that's going to be awesome, Travis. Now you want to stream it, don't you? The track temperature is increasing. It's now 110 Fahrenheit. See how this quality setup feels. All clear on pit exit. Oh, Jesus. Jesse, no! <laughs> that didn't take long. I guess I should have practiced the quality setup first. <laughs> yeah, back end. It's a good short for your YouTube channel. Exactly, exactly. Good call. I wonder if he subscribes. He must be a subscriber. All right. It takes it's clear. Stay behind the white line. All right, Jesse, we've got two laps to get the job done. Travis, it wasn't a murder. Besides, I'm streaming, so if it happens, I'll have it caught for historical purposes. Temps increasing. It's now 111 Fahrenheit. Yeah, the quality setup on low fuel is back ends way lighter. Toby, happy Sunday. Hope you're great. Do you have a league race tonight, Toby? Do you have a 
race I need to look forward to seeing. lap in the qualifying setup. Okay, what time is your race? Paul, how you doing? Yeah, I think I'm in here with some fast guys though. Oh, that was terrible. Hey Mauricio, what are you racing? Today. Uh, all right. Lap is terrible. Okay, so 5:55 my time. Probably gonna be washing the Bronco, but I'll have you on. I'll definitely be there supporting you. First lap was terrible. Probably should have track practiced the qualifying setup first. So are you doing the kart racing today, or are you in uh, doing one of the IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenges? I guess you're doing one of the IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenges. You're probably a split below Travis and I. Okay, yeah, I definitely should have practiced the setup. Drive's completely different. New fastest lap for Wu, 152.27. That's a new fastest lap for La Bordette, 152.17. Alright, that was terrible, guys. P12, fastest lap for Lane, 151.94. So Mauricio got uh, P2 at his karting race yesterday. I think he started P5 and was able to get up to P2. So Mauricio, we're expecting a win out of you today. No pressure, buddy. No pressure at all. All right, guys, before this gets started, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back.
That's the end of the session. B18. Good luck, Josh. All right, that was terrible qualifying. And Travis, you ran out of fuel? Dang, you qualified P3, though. Holy crap. Awesome job, Travis. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that would have been a crappy way to start the race. All right, there we go. Travis is being my crew chief here. All right, I'm just gonna take it easy at first, guys. Try to get into a rhythm, see what we can do. Um. Travis is really good in the Porsche, so I picked the BMW and just kind of stuck with it just because I'm comfortable with it. Uh, thank you, Toby. Thanks, Travis. Awesome job on P3. Thanks, Mauricio. And good luck in your race today. Keep us up to date if you can. Um, it seems like the Porsche and maybe the AMG or maybe the better car. The track temp is 109. The air temp is 77 Fahrenheit, 18th. Hey, Joey. Happy Sunday. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by. Always appreciate it. Um, Stay behind Langner in the right lane. The BMW seems to be really good on curbs. Also, I feel like the braking is maybe better than some of the other cars. Uh, but it seems like the Porsche has really good corner exit and acceleration from my experience. I do a lot of racing with Travis and he drives the Porsche. And he'll just pull away from me um, when we exit corners, but I can usually, I'll break him. But he'll kill me in the corner. Okay, Jesse, be ready. As far as his exit speed and being able to get on the throttle. Green, green, green. Car left. Clear to the left. Tommy is now leading. So I'm just going to take it easy, settle into a rhythm here. On your left. He's still there. Oh, jeez. What are these guys doing? Still there. Hold your line. Clear left. That was pretty sloppy through there. long race here so we'll settle into a nice rhythm take it easy pretty sure I'm, should have some pace on the guys in front of me I think I totally botched qualifying yeah so I would say maybe Take a look at the Porsche, or consider the Porsche, um, possibly the AMG. Thirteen. If you can't make the corner, don't don't try to that one in two hours. 
I've run a few races with Craig. Craig's pretty, pretty good. Pretty clean driver. I think that TCR just died. I saw my life flash before my eyes when he went in front of me. Watch the brake pedal. Yeah, Paul, next weekend, uh, Travis, Mauricio, and I are going to be doing a uh, 12 hour race at Magello in the TP. TCR, or sorry, GT4 class. So I think we're going to be probably doing the Porsche. More than likely. Got to check with Travis and see what he thinks. So I yeah, have been... Try your races over, bud. Try and stick it out, you'll still get fancy racing. Again, like 15 places after an emergency pit yesterday. Yeah, you did well yesterday, man. Are you in my right? Yeah, the oh, NEC is a uh, pretty awesome series. <laughs> oh, well. I had a lot of fun doing it in solo and then with teammates as well. Definitely a challenge doing it solo. But definitely recommend giving it a try if you've got the time for it. Oops, saw that coming. There's an incident in Tosa. Not sure why the AMG came back down, he left the door open and tried to close it on the BMW. Should have just conceded it. Live another day. There's an incident in Aqua Minerali. Clear to the left. All right, that's two freebies. All right, track is gonna kind of clear up a little bit here. Get inside. See if I can get some decent laps in. Down the lead. So we've got a buddy Travis in the race here. He started P3. I totally botched qualifying. We're usually pretty comparable on pace. 16th place. Porsche's got a pretty good run on me. Sometimes with these two hour races, people kind of run different strategies with fuel. I prefer starting with full fuel. On your right. Clear right. The gap in front has increased to 1.3 seconds. I feel like the force behind me maybe is running on lower fuel. But I like running on full fuel to start. Then I've got a shorter stop. Okay, at the Jesse, end. hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. Uh, that was 
That's terrible. Porsche was dragging me down the straightaway last time. Fucking off track from 32 are going to be the death of me. That was a 152.84. <laughs> death by a thousand one X's. If that Porsche gets a run on me, I'm gonna let him go. I think he's got a little more pace than me. Like I said, maybe he's on a different fuel strategy and it's light on fuel. We'll know for sure if he pits it in the first kind of 20 or 30 minutes. The gap to Peter behind is now 1.0 seconds. Okay, Jesse, we've just cut the track. Harold is leading the race. Casey guys just hopping in the stream, thank you so much. Um, kind of botched qualifying. So I started further back in the field than I probably should, but we've made up, I think, five positions since the green flag. And our buddy Travis, Wars down in the chat. He started P3. For the TCRs in this race, do you take tires on each pit stop? Should only have the top one. And yes, I take some. Cool, thanks. Yeah, no rear, just front. You're not playing mind games with me because you're catching up, are you? No, sir. I think you should both change all tires. And stop four times. Yeah, I think it's going to be a two-stop, right? Yeah, I think the TCRs are able to go a little bit further on fuel than the GT4s. Yeah, I might see some rain. One of these races in the rain will be interesting. The leader just did a 51.6, so... Oh god, GT4 lobby will be a nightmare. <laughs> Definitely far off base at the moment. Sector 1 is 0 0.46 off the pace. Sector 2 is 0 0.27 off the pace. Sector 3 is 0 0.6 off the pace.
I will warn you though that once you pit and get two tires, Make him do all the, the work. car becomes Focus very, very pussy. <laughs> so both the guys behind me are quicker at the moment. So you want to wait till they warm up before you push too hard? Yeah, it makes sense. I can see the balance being a little bit off. Got a bunch of friendly guys in the TCR class. Oh, he's got to run on me. Right like side. Still yeah, no there. Hold your line. Clear to the right. I'm not going to lie, the more they can get guys running PTRs than me, the more fun it is. Simon yeah, it's a bit sad when we had a GT4 in the lobby yesterday, so I thought I'd be the change I want to see. The stewards have warned us about track limits. Keep it between the lines. We've been called into the pits for repairs. That and I keep sending the Aston Martin. Thank you, Andrew. I didn't realize I was racing a Canadian. This changes everything. Sorry, Yannick. No, I'm sorry. Don't flash, that was way cleaner than you did it.
Go! I like delivery. That's early. Hey Daniel, if you would worry about the cars in front of you, maybe we could catch them instead of just racing for tents for two hours. What the heck, guys? Did you not see that in front of us? That was on Daniel stopping at the chicane. Yeah, 13 blew the chicane 
slammed on the brakes and we all stacked up. I'm really sorry for. I already braked early. I'm really sorry. That's not on you, Anton. I, I saw what happened. Go inside, Yannick.
Thanks, Jen. Thank you. Well played. New fastest lap for Herald, 151.06. Thanks, Steve. 